The F-35 is a different kind of an airplane than most maintainers are used to dealing with on a large scale basis. We've had stealthy airplanes in the past, but they've been almost boutique, handled by small groups of highly trained maintainers. We're now getting to the point where we're going to have an airplane maintained around the world on a very large scale, thousands of airplanes, with a wide variety of capabilities and skill levels associated with the maintenance of that. So clearly the challenges for our customer is then how to have military forces that are ready to be able to operate the new equipment and to do this in a very effective manner. You want to have the, uh, uh, the best use of you know, the eight hour day where, 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 uh, where technicians are learning hands on. So if uh, they can't be, uh, you know, turning a, a real device or using a real wrench, the next thing is to, is to make sure they have the orientation so it is when it is their turn, they can do it well and do it well the first time. So their hour or, or whatever time is, is allowed on the real device, it is much more effective. This is really what pushes you towards a, visuals, a visualization capability, a visual system. It's so much easier to teach people, it's so much easier to see what you're supposed to do if you can in fact envision things in three dimensions. Being able to look at and rotate objects in a 3D world provide us an opportunity that we've never had before. A good analogy is an engine. If I walk out and I see an engine on an aircraft, I can probably locate that engine. But I don't understand how the turbines work inside of it and there's a shaft that goes through it and it works at different stages. That's the cool thing about 3D models. I can model that engine. I can begin to peel it apart and show that airman, dissect it and cut it. And we can get down to whatever level, proficiency level, that we need to teach those airmen. When I first went to Engrain, I was talking to the folks about how can I get the same capability but not be on a very expensive designer's computer. Is there a way to get this capability down to a PC or a laptop? And that's where Engrain really turned the corner for us on F-35. They said that they, they had the technology to do that and still get the very high fidelity and the imagery that we needed to, to teach people how to, how to build the airplane, how to work on the airplane, how to take the airplane apart. You can see it all just visually without reading instructions or looking at two-dimensional pictures now, so it's made a huge difference. Initially when I was introduced to Engrain, I was very skeptical because I'm not computer literate. I was also worried that it was an effort to replace the instructor in the shop and replace shop time with computer time. I did see the potential to develop three-dimensional knowledge in my students, which made me very enthusiastic about it. In fact, now that I've worked with it, i found that it's improved the shop time it unloads me and allows me to spend more individual time with the students and to spend more time in the shop. The students come to the shop much more prepared than what they were before. We end up with a lot less damage on tools and on parts and the students go away with a much higher level of learning at the end. Our brand name is very important and we are looking at companies who are also leaders in what they do and have a strong product, strong brand name, and good credibility with the customer. So bringing CAE and Engrain together enabled us to offer very compelling solutions from a modeling and simulation point of view, satisfying the needs of our customers. Probably the most important contribution that's being made today is in development of our low observable health assessment system, sometimes called LOHAS where we actually have maintainers that have to look at damage on an airplane and then describe that damage visually into a computer to get an assessment of what the impact of that is on signature. Very complex, very technical exchange, almost impossible to do without some visual tool. And Engrain is now providing the backbone for us to do that. And it's, I just took a demonstration out today of senior Navy people and it just wows everybody when they see it, what we can do now. So. A very important part of the program and, and the technology of being able to do this on a, on a laptop or a PC is it, really revolutionary for us. 3D simulations, software solutions such as Ingrain have much greater application than just aircraft maintenance training here for us. We've also learned to use it in the medical arena to help the students learn about the body and how to give better health care to our uh, airmen and our medics use this, and many of these are frontline responders helping to save those lives of those who are fighting to 
invested in our nation. Ingrain is, is a, one of the companies I talk about a lot. And there's only a couple that I do because I think Ingrain has a unique story that, to tell. They're, they're very professional. They, they've been extremely responsive to anything we've asked them to do. And they've made an impact on the program. Not every company can say that. And particularly on a program that's on the real cutting edge of technology, and they're right in there with us trying to figure these things out. So um, I, I very much appreciate the work that Ingrain is doing, and, and I, I think they have a lot of applications, potential applications, to use this technology going forward in the future. And, and who knows what's out there ahead of us? There's lots of lots of new things that we haven't even thought about yet. So, so I'm glad we found them, and I'm glad they're on our team.